folks, Jason here. Uh, this is a very quick drum set lesson on a pattern that I like to play that fuses uh, elements of two of my favorite drummers, Tony Allen, uh, who played with the famous band leader and multi-instrumentalist Taylor Cudi, did a lot of great Afrobeat music over the years, and um, Clyde Stubblefield, who played with the uh, extremely famous artist James Brown. I think everybody's heard of James Brown. Uh, so let's break down this pattern. Uh, three limb groove, you can do it with just uh, hats, snare, and kick, as you can see here. The easiest part of this pattern rhythmically is the hi-hat part, which is just eighth notes, except for a quarter note at the end of the two measure cycle. We're in four, four time. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's just twice through that two measure phrase. A pretty straightforward hi-hat part. I think the main thing to capture here, and this is something I love about the way uh, Tony Allen played the hi-hat on a lot of those Fela Kuti records, is it's very light while being propulsive and driving. So if you're really trying to dig into the hi-hat and play this heavy, aggressive sound, not really going to capture the style or quality that Tony Allen did. Think more like a jazz drummer lifting off the ride cymbal when playing a swing pattern. That sound quality and that sort of relaxed but propulsive drive at the same time. Okay, let's add in the kick drum part. What I'm going to do is vocalize the kick drum part while I play the eighth notes on the hi-hat. One and two and under tempo. One and a, and a, a one and a, and a, one and a, and a, a one and a, and a. Right now I'm going to go ahead and play that kick drum part I was just vocalizing while playing the hi-hat. One and two and three and four. Right? Uh, another thing I love about Tony Allen's sound is it's not digging the beater into the head, it's letting the drum sing, letting it resonate. Um, a lot of these kick drum parts that Tony Allen plays almost remind me of a um, dun dun part that you'd hear in a lot of traditional West African music. Um, so you want the drum to resonate or sing out. Um, now this pattern uses a lot of doubles. Tony Allen did this, Clyde Stubblefield did this uh, famous Clyde Stubblefield beat. You can hear the song as the James Brown song, Cold Sweat. Um, but that's essentially the rhythm of the pattern. So thinking about not just the rhythmic coordination, but also the sound you're getting out of the hi-hat and the kick drum, there's also kind of a little bit of a behind-the-beat quality to the kick drum. Uh, it swings a little, and it kind of lays behind the beat ever so slightly. And you may have noticed that. Um, when I was playing at the beginning of the video. Um, so try to keep that feel to it. I'll do the hi-hat and kick again and just listen to that sonic element and that feel quality. One knee under two knee under three under four. Faster, one, a two, a two, two, two. Last part is the snare drum part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and vocalize the snare part while playing the hi hat part here. One knee under two, under tempo. E, a three, E, four, E, and. E, a three, E, E, a three, E, four, E, and. E, a three, E, four. So there's this really heavy accent on the E of each measure. And this is something I love about Tony Allen's playing. You hear this in Clyde Stubblefield as well. I think this is something both drummers have. But um, not necessarily always playing the backbeat. I think Tony Allen did this more because the backbeat is such an integral element of funk drumming. But especially with Tony Allen, uh, delaying the backbeat by a 16th note, we expect this one and two, right? 
hear that in all kinds of funk music, that really strong, mm, kind of in your face backbeat on two. But he delays it. He goes one and a two E. One and a two E. And that creates this really nice flow. So really laying into that E while remaining light and propulsive with the kick and hi-hat. Right? And then the other notes that follow, in my mind, are really ghost notes, though you can occasionally throw in an accent. Another really big accent is the end of the phrase, that open hi-hat on beat four. Right? Adds a little more weight. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and play just the hi-hat part and the snare drum part uh, together. One E and a two E and a under tempo. add in all three parts now. I'm going to uh, add the kick drum as well. Start under tempo and then we'll gradually pick it up. One E and the two E and the three E and the four. A little faster. One E and the two E and the three E and the four. Closer to a typical uh, Afro beat or uh, kind of cold sweat tempo. Uh, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Uh, be on the lookout for lots more drum set instructional videos in addition to. Uh, the music theory, piano, compositions, and interviews. Lots of great stuff on this channel. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for your support. Uh, have a great day, y'all.